Yo, welcome to today's Store Kickers video. Today we're playing The Move In by Alan Souls, Alan Souls underscore Nar. Uh, we've played with him before. We're starting to play with some new uh, or some new maps made by some uh, map creators that we've already played by. So if you're seeing that, please check them out. That probably means that they have multiple ones and they're really getting into it and they're really putting the time in to learn new tricks. Uh, I do want to mention in this one because I'm starting to notice that uh, some of the shorter videos get a lot more like likes and views and stuff probably because you know it's just kind of how we are as viewers nowadays that's all good and well I, I, I get that as a content creator that that's gonna happen I try to put forth more effort in every video as I go forward so that being said just know that there's always timestamps in the video so if it's a longer video and you don't want to watch the whole three star playthrough or whatever you can check the timestamps in the description of the video and it'll tell you or you can just scroll to the bottom of the t of the time lap of the video and it'll it'll read you where like what it's called usually i always have like the intro and intel so this part and then where we look over the map and look for guns and stuff that's intro and intel and then we'll go into the playthrough and that'll be x minutes long however long it takes us to do the playthrough maybe with some funny cuts and then we'll go into the replay replay and review meaning the replay of the map uh, the little film we get at the end. So if that's all you're into, I know that Door Kickers has a huge following of people that just want to watch your replay. So if you want to just watch that, you can always go to that at the end. And then if you're a map creator kind of guy and you're just, you're just interested in the new tips and tricks of what the map creator did to make this map that we're playing, whatever map it is, you can always just flip all the way to the end at the review. And that's where we go through the editor and go through the map and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to start saying this a lot, so maybe people will start skipping the intro. <laughs> Is this as long as fuck? Uh, all right, let's get into it. Let's do some intel. What <laughs> up, seasick? Uh, the falling star map is hard. Falling star. Is that a dev map? <laughs> all right, we do have some intel on this map because we played co-op with it with seasick yesterday for like. Probably 10 minutes. Oh, it's one of mine. Oh, it is one of mine. That's right. Oh, my SCP maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My maps on the game. The Falling Star. Oh, it's not that hard. Falling, uh, Operation Falling Star is the hospital, the clinic, where you start on the inside. Because everyone has door kicker maps where you start on the outside. I made a door kicker map where you start on the inside. And it's like, I know it could be like, oh, no, no, I switched it. Don't you start on the outside now, don't you? Oh, that's right. I made it now where you start it. At one point, Falling Star was was a little bit different. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking of the soccer map. The soccer map, you start on the inside. That's Cloverfield. Yeah, yeah. At one point, Falling Star, you started on the inside. Because at one point, Falling Star was Cloverfield all in one map. And it was my very first like map that I started making. And I was like, oh, I bit off way more than I chew. <laughs> I made it way too big. And so I was like, scratch all this. <laughs> And I started like moving things around. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Okay. About about this intel phase. Intel phase. Okay. We got a shotgun on the floor here. It looks like. Oh, here I can. You can use end and home to tilt your stuff. Yeah. Shotgun on the floor. Oh, that is not good. Something went boom over here. So we know something goes boom. There's lots of AKs. There's like five guys in here. We know that. Um. There's some guys out here. We know that. Holy. Fucking hell. <laughs> Can AI use grenade launchers yet? How to make the maps? Dude, just keep watching the game. Um, actually, on the, on the YouTube, uh, there's a two-hour video of where I just talk with Gajara, which is a map maker, and we talk about all tips and tricks not every single one because it would literally i would have to do a six hour podcast about every way you could possibly all the things that i've learned and the most nuanced tips and tricks but that two hours you could probably learn almost everything you need and then teach yourself everything from that point on for sure because i cover out all the ideas that i have and how i make cool things and then i also cover how to just teach yourself and what to look for on making thing also i do that in every video like i said at the end of the map we always review the map at the end and I go over different tips. Like I'll tell you how you lean the shotguns and different things like that. But uh, back to this, can AI use grenade launchers? I will say this right now, be careful, uh, MP7s, MP7s, MP7s are fine. 
There, there's guns in the game. There's, uh, there's guns in the game. If you put them on the map and the AI picks them up, it, it breaks the game and it'll, it'll crash the game. So be careful as a map maker if you start putting a lot of different guns. Make sure you're doing ones. I think he's fine there. He knows. He's got a Scar H on the fucking counter over here. Oh my god. Or is that an MK or whatever? Another shotgun here. Another Scar. Another M16. Another SVD. Okay, so there's a hundred. There's, there's six hundred million guys. There's a grenade launcher just laying in the yard. Okay. Um. Don't get me wrong, I still make mistakes, Kajara. You'll probably see some now, but let's watch that way. Um, actually, I want to watch that down there. Can I get a view on that from... Sorry, I just woke up, guys. Give me a second here. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I want to get I want to get him over here and him over here so I can watch this with them and watch this with him. And then I got this whole section locked down. Boys are about to get fucking. Look at this poor bastard. He's just sitting in the chair, like, what could possibly go wrong? And I just blow this wall open like a motherfucker, and then I'm gonna shoot this guy. He don't even know it. He's watching. He's watching the Price Is Right. He's like, ding, ding, ding. That is the Price Is Right. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we got motherfuckers over here. That's a rocket launcher guy. Let's go ahead and clap him. These guys are bound here about to die. Good shots, good shots. Let's choose second target here. <laughs> good shots. This guy's bending over. What do you think you're grabbing, boy? He's like still sitting on the chair. This guy is still, he's like, maybe if I sit still, they won't see me. They're like T-Rexes. They only see movement. Just stay still. This is good proof that some people in real life just freeze. You never know. And trust me, you don't know if you're, if you never had, I've, I've had guns drawn on me. Sometimes, sometimes you freeze. Least. Oh, he sat there until he got shot. Oh, that poor bastard. Uh oh. Uh oh. How did you guys survive to pick that shit up? Fucking suppressed me. They're behind cover now, aren't they? You cock sucking shit bags. Oh, there's no. Uh, okay, as a map creator, that's kind of tough, bro. Ah, oh, man, they can hit. Ah, I'm, I'm not allowed to do that. That's so unfair. <laughs> oh, shit. They're gonna own me! Ah, oh, damn it! I, I, uh, yeah, this sucks. Ah, oh, 
Fuck! Ah! Oh, there's nothing I can do at this point. Oh, you're a mean game. You're a very mean game. Ah, oh, shit. They're all dead. God damn it. I didn't know it was that tough up there. I did not expect that. How the fuck did you guys live long enough to pick up your guns? I was fucking clapping cheeks from the get-go. Oh my fuck, man. I should have just naded right from the very... S the very first second, I should have just fucking naded. No, it's because he got suppressed. That's why he missed. He literally it said suppressed right when he shot. That's why he was like, Whoa, shit! And flung his gun off to the side. That's That I'm fine with. What I'm saying is the AI can lean undercover and shoot like this. We cannot. So in a gunfight like this, 100% of the time, we are going to lose. If we're not, if we can't get ordnance down there, you're gonna lose this fight every time. So it was just like it was my mistake, and it's also just a really hard because it's like as a map maker, it's just like, well, it's realistic they would have that, but as a game and the way that the devs designed it, it's like you're fucked if this happens. If what's happening right now happens and you can't get out of it, you're fucked. <laughs> um. Yeah. Fucking cunts. God damn it. <clears throat> God damn it, man. Blind fire in this game is so hardcore. If you're getting blind fired and you can't throw a nade or something, you need to get the fuck out of there really quick. You could take cover. Yeah, but I can't shoot back. So what's the point of taking cover? Like, other than just sitting, like, having them sit there. And then they're just gonna throw a nade. I don't have any smokes, yeah. The game is, to, the game to me, again, the game, Gajara, is not to hide. The game is, like, I want to be able to, right from the get-go, you should be able to make perfect moves every time. Again, my, I messed up because I should have naded over there right away. But... I'm getting at the game mechanics once this happens. I mean, you can argue all you want, but once this happens, you're fucked. <laughs> like, like, yeah, if you think you're going to have one of every kind of ordnance on you. But you know I don't use grenade launchers. Like, I don't use rocket launchers. I'm not, like... I use grenade launchers, but I only use one. I always forget I have it, though, because it's just not like... It's not like what, it's civilian oriented, you know? I don't use a grenade launcher until it's like, oh, you know that you need to do it. I'm not going to come around the corner and just pop a grenade launcher for the sake of popping a grenade launcher, you know? So when I get inversions like this, like, I'm not going to throw smoke just for the sake of throwing smoke. You, like, you get it. Or you should, hopefully. <laughs> Damn it, he's already fucking down again. This little cunt right here is there, finally. That guy was insane. So we're gonna lose. That's okay. That took way too much to just kill one guy. Holy shit. Alright. Good morning. Jesus Christ. sexy <laughs> oh that was some good movement <laughs> hey jet just come over for like and stream she said they say hi from her as well oh shit all right much love that's why i didn't see her i didn't see her in the in the stream avatars and i was like it's okay jet people have lives just uh don't don't take it personal <laughs> Oh shit, Dio. Thank you for the, thank you, man. Thank you for the sub. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> you guys are awesome. 
I hope that she's doing well. I should have checked that right away. I honestly woke up this morning, went straight into like advertisement, video editing, checking what YouTube is because I, I published my five hour special of Thanksgiving snow truckers and it's still HD, HD processing on YouTube. Two people watched it at 360p and they still liked the video. And I was like, who the crackheads are that are liking this on 360p? I don't know. But they actually watched some of it, and I got a sub, so it was like a new person. It wasn't like just like someone just supporting just to support. So <laughs> I just found that funny. But yeah, then I got straight into door kickers. But Dio, if you're out of here, get out of here if you need to. Thank you again. Fucking 17 months, man. That's insane. Thank you for all the support. I'm going to continue doing this. You know, like right now, I'm putting a lot into YouTube. It's like a fucking, I'm cracked out for likes. Cracked out for likes. I really need some comments coming in. Let me know what people like. I've noticed on my ground branch videos, people like it when I do one straight, like I just post one match because I did a mashup of a few different matches and funny moments and people just like, they don't have the patience. They want like, they want the content cut down. Like TikTok is really, <laughs> you got to get it like, whoa, just you got to cram it down their throats. So I'm trying to get that down. <laughs> I'll tell you, said hi as well. Exactly. Thank you. I would be there if I could right now, but I can't be in two spots at once. All right, I got to move up this way. Oh, uh, we're going to lose this match, man. This sucks. Oh, there goes a hostage. Or, uh, maybe not a hostage. Civilian. Ooh, motherfucker. All because of that fucking guy. 2021 attention span what do you mean oh yeah yeah for video content yeah it's all good it just is what it is and i'm trying to adapt you know i still have the mindset of like i like to make these like story-esque kind of things like i like to make like a quentin tarantino kind of youtube video like i want to like slowly open up or like hit you with a really funny moment where it just clashes right away and then build to this existential moment uh i don't know like that's my art style that i like to do but it's not really the art style of youtube or like content creator for for gamers that's like allowed if you're like frankie pc or so, like people like that you can get away with it but i think you gotta like it's kind of like being a, a variety streamer it's just you would have to, it takes you would have to do it for like 20 years to build enough people that's into watching that because the amount of people that are into watching that is just so low. Am I able to change the look of the stream avatar? You sure can. I'm sorry right now, guys, that I'm being so slow. I'm just... I'm fucking... I suck right now. We lost so many people. I want to restart, but that's not what we're doing anymore. God damn! I never knew why that blew up. Is it just a timer at 30 seconds? I thought someone ran in there. Do you seriously just have a bomb in there for at 30 seconds? It goes boom. Dude, that's one way to learn. That is one way to fucking learn. You learn. You learning today, JT. You fucking learning today. <laughs> ah! I right, ever give up? I give up. Everyone just run away. This place is too hard. We don't have enough intel on this map. Everyone run the fuck away. <laughs> Bro, I'm I am not this bad, guys. I promise. Everyone, you guys got to know. Whoever was here yesterday, I was clapping cheeks. I am all flustered right now. Woo! All right. <laughs> God damn. Son. Holy shit. Oh, what? Oh, the pink mist. That's all that's left of them. There's, there's nothing left. I don't even know who that was. I don't have nothing to identify my man. He's just gone. I don't have a body to bring back to 
to to Deborah. Oh, oh, poor Deborah. <laughs> it was her birthday this month. <laughs> oh fuck, little Timmy. <laughs> oh shit. All right. This is just not smart going this way. Oh, none of this matters. I don't think any of it matters. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> This be a hard map. Did we beat his map first try last time or something? Nathaniel, what did what did the community do, do to you? Why 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 do you hate us so much? Why are we what why are you hurting me like this? Why are you not shooting this guy? Shoot him! So guys, <clears throat> Short range guns at medium range. Don't do it. <laughs> Kishara's got me using the MK18 and I'm missing the M16 right now. <laughs> God damn, I just got clapped. I had I had 50 minutes. This guy walked all the way from here to here. He was shooting I was shooting at him the whole time and I still couldn't kill him. What the fuck, man? The MK18 sucks at range. Like, if you're not inside, that gun is dog shit. Why are you still shooting me and I'm already dead? It is totally your fault. I blame you. If it wasn't you, I would still have the M16. That guy would have been dead. <laughs> Alright, we got half our team. And they're all injured to fuck. <laughs> Things are going great. <laughs> oh. Lars with the M10 one-tapped him. Yeah, let's just go close range, Lars. What, what could go wrong? Let's do all at once so we have something cool to look at at least. Well, we can just walk right on through here now. Ah! Noise. Noise. How did I do that, man? My crackhead vision from playing this game so much now is like really coming together. I'm like, oh, I seen two guys. I didn't even see them. My, my brain seen them. <laughs> my brain was like, stop. Shoot. <laughs> All right. That was pretty cool, though, actually. Um, let's move this way. There's supposed to be a clothes line here. That's why the FOV. <laughs> oh, uh -uh. Yeah, get shot, bitch. All right. Let's take this guy. There's like 30 guys in here, I remember that. Nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Door kicker's doing door kicker things. Bonner's like, must kick door! I can't just walk by a door without kicking it. <laughs> Love it. Oh, wait. Let's go like this so he doesn't have his gun up against the fucking wall like a super smart guy. What the fucking hell? There's tier. There's a Godzilla on this map. Oh no! What is happening? <gasps> oh god! Oh, last bullet. We're John Wicking now. We're John Wicking now. Oh, what is happening over here? Oh. Bonner, if you, who remembers Ganjara's map when uh, 
everything went to shit and we had to hot extract when we had to leave all, all the civilians and hostages to die and only two of our two of our people made it out alive bonner was one of them two people <laughs> he dead now he has seen some shit <laughs> he's gone <laughs> oh god damn <laughs> holy fuck dude i like playing like this gajara now that I've gotten good enough, I mean, you might think by watching this playthrough, like, I suck. I, go ahead and try this map, guys. Even with all the intel you gain from watching me play, good fucking luck. You're still, I guarantee there's gonna be something that gets you somewhere on your first try. Like, <laughs> something's gonna happen. I forgot that you can click to stop now. I really like that function. Shut up, bitch. What are you screaming about? Oh, God! That's why. <gasps> no! That guy just got gunned the fuck down. Dude, you went down in pistol blazing red health. That guy went out like a god. Holy shit. Took out three motherfucking insurgents. Going down, saving some civilians' lives as he drops. What a hero. All right, Lars, let's just get the fuck out of here. You're the last man alive. <laughs> just run. I wish there was like a a give up function in the game where like, so in this game, if they introduced a mode, like a hardcore mode where when your people die, they're dead forever. You, you don't get to just like restart or anything like they're dead. It'd be really cool though, if there was an option to decide to leave the map and you had to bring your back your people back to an extract point to get out. Do you get what I'm saying? So if we have an insertion point, if there, if that was also the extract point, or whatever, whatever it happens to be, that just would be really neat to see. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but I would like to see something like that. Oh, what the fucking... You dead. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Fucking civilian ran out. I'm like, nope, I'm dead. Hostages lost. Three out of five. I think, I think actually five out of five lost. Holy shit. This map still be too hard for me. Yeah, dude, that was... Everything went awry. Sexy movement moment. I love it. I love trio movement, Gajara. I've really gotten trio movement down, like, really well in a lot of things. For me, at least. I accidentally hit that guy in the background. Yeah, there's just a trigger bomb right there or something. I don't know. Because it's... If that guy would have walked through, maybe, or maybe at 30 seconds, I don't know. That guy was a god. There's a lot of gods on this map. My guys went beast mode, too. Look at this. Everybody moving at the same time. I love it. A lot better movement, even in solo. Look at the, like, the movement through this room. The way I was able to take people out. What happened here? Oh, we'll never know. <laughs> Something just blew up. I think it was a guy with a vest. This was cool with the pistol right here. <laughs> I've gotten a, I've gotten a lot better. I still make mistakes, obviously. I'm never gonna not make mistakes. I get, you know. Yeah, he can. He's got the one time, six times, so I couldn't get aim on shots there fast enough. All right, let's look at this map stuff real quick and give him the attention he deserves. He does have a bomb here that's set to 90 seconds, but it blew up at 30 seconds. So what's the deal with that bomb, Nate? Because I walked in this door at 30 seconds and this bomb blew up. To 
did it get hot? Maybe got hit with a, sh a bullet or something. Why the hell did that bomb blow up? I don't know. You might want to look into that. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Because I don't, I don't, yeah, no one threw a flash or anything. Why is it, it's not set to a, there's no triggers. Yeah. So at 30 seconds, you can actually see in the video that blows up. I'm not sure what the deal is there. So much AI and work and whatnot done in this. Very fun. Um, paint is great. Walls are great. Tight hallways is fucking just gives me the angst, which is fun. Uh, right here, there's another explosion that happened. Oh, this suicide bomber. Um, I was working this place pretty perfectly, and he still got me, but eh, it's kind of not perfect at the same time. So that's okay. It's going to be a tough spot there as well. Um, personally, maybe the map might be a little too hard, but... At the same time, if that's what you're looking for, this would be perfect for some people. Uh, I don't know. This right here maybe just is my only real complaint so far. Because I'm having trouble figuring out what made it go boom at 30 seconds. I, no one shot or anything. All in all, though, very fun, obviously. And I think people would definitely should play it. And I think this is a good map to test your metal against each other. And be like, oh, breaking rights against friends. And be like, I did this at this and this and that. So, uh, uh, as always, looking forward to more of your work and whatnot. And, uh... Yeah, let us know if anything changes us. Maybe we'll try it again. I might try it again in the future. I'm definitely going to leave it subbed. And uh, this will be one of them ones where we try again. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, check us out live and whatnot. All right, let's say it. We did shout outs before. Thanks.